Hey guys, Shannon with AMRA. And uh, we got an interesting video for you today. It was shot at the Colorado mine owned by Dave Verabioff, who also owns Gold Bay. And uh, Dave put up a reward. He wanted to determine if you could actually douse for gold, you know, using the copper rods and walking around and having them cross and it tells you that they're gold down there. And we all kind of had our doubts on whether or not that's successful. I've never seen anybody do it successfully for gold. I've seen them do it for water and, you know, electrical lines and things like that, but never for gold. So we ponied up a little bit of money and uh, membership. Roaring Camp pitched in uh, a pretty nice prize package and some money. And Dave put up 50 grand to do this. And so... This is one guy that agreed to come out and give it a shot. He didn't lose anything, you know, uh, other than gas to get there. But uh, turns out it's a good friend of ours by the name of Britt Ketchum. So anyway, let's take you out to the Colorado mine in Mariposa, and we'll show you uh, dousing for gold. Britt is the one that has a lot of experience. Actually, sounds like about 40 years experience using dowsing rods and so what Dave's got here is he's got a multitude of different targets that uh, he's putting inside of black boxes their plastic uh, gun case boxes and anyway a couple of them are going to be huge chunks of gold which I'll show you here in a second and it's going to be a triple blind and he's really got this dialed in as far as nobody's actually going to know what is in either box Dave won't I won't nobody will um, except the camera that he's going to leave rolling in the background. And then Britt's going to have to go over and actually douse each one of those and try to determine which one has the gold in it. He has to do that multiple times, but um, we hope he's successful because if he is, Dave wants to hire him uh, because the Colorado mine here, folks, we did a video there. It was pretty impressive. Okay, so I'm going to place that in As there. can be seen here, what and Dave and the guys are doing is they're placing all of these items, the nuts and bolts, the slate rocks, the spring, the giant chunk of gold, all of those are being placed into these 10 pistol cases. Prior to the placement of the pistol boxes on the ground, Britt walked along and he doused that to make sure that he didn't get a reading in the ground of some other item. This wasn't over any portion of where the Colorado mine shafts actually are. So this was just regular yeah, slate, just and Britt got no readings. Okay, so we're all going to be back here so we can't see. So go ahead and mix it up. So Dave drove the truck down with all the boxes in them, and each one of the guys went and stood behind the screen so they couldn't see the boxes on the tailgate. And then each one individually came out and they mixed them all up. And then the next one came out and mixed them all up and then mixed them all up and mixed them all up. And at that point, then they were ready to be placed on the ground and the dowsing started. Any distance. One line or two lines? Do one. Yeah. There you go. So there's ten boxes. So as you can see here, Britt got a pretty good cross on his dousing rods and he had selected this box. I believe it was number nine in the string of ten. He then handed Dave one of his stickers. Dave attached it to the bottom of the box. None of the other guys could see what was going on because they were behind the screen. After Britt was done, 
Then the guys would come out and they would randomly select a box and put their sticker or give that to Dave and Dave would put that on the box. After everybody had randomly selected a box and Britt had selected the one with the dowsing rods, then they would come out individually again without anybody seeing what they were doing and they would mix the boxes up. Then they went to round two, then to round three. Same process went over and over and over again until we got to the 10th round. You guys can all watch it then, yep. Yep, yep. this is number 10. That shows you how random it is, I don't even know. Yeah, I have to look at the sticker chart. <laughs> I've never actually seen anybody do this before really and so it was interesting to see that the rods were very uh, it seemed de definitive mm -hmm. so if, if you were to say or if you were to guess how accurate you were out of 10 times how many times did you actually get the gold would you think I'll go with eight eight out of ten okay, yeah so you figure I'm eight going, out of ten I'm times. going with your number yeah. okay cool so we are now going to take what we'll do is we'll pick all the boxes up without looking at the bottom of them we'll take them over there like all of us will grab a couple boxes in fact i'll have all you guys do it because i'm going to move my camera at the same time we'll place them face down on the tailgate and then i'm going to set the camera up to what we'll do is we'll turn the boxes over and look at the bottom of them first and we'll open them up from the least amount of stickers to the most amount of stickers awesome. okay so without looking at them pick them up so we will do it together. We'll just flip them over. There's one. You guys can flip a couple of them over. Wow. I got some message. Okay, so we have this box here only has one, and you were the last one. You actually picked this yes. one. This is your last box. So let's open this one first, and you might get to eat. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. Tuna! <laughs> and a tuna! So Britt, right now you actually have one sticker on each one of them. Awesome. Want me to witch them one more time? Uh, no, I just want you to be here to watch what we open up. So, let's see what's in this one. Two rocks. rocks. So we have two rocks. We get split rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at this one. We have four, four bullets. <laughs>
We have a weight, a battery, and a shotgun shell. And that batteries. And tuning. Spring. Okay, so we have four. I missed that gold. I'm done. This room right here. Yep. It's your turn next. This has got the six, and this has got. Okay, so Britt, you didn't pick this one at all. Oh, okay. That's the one with the gold. We'll open it up. Why? Nope. Rocks. Rocks. Rock. Okay, Britt, you picked this one once. I got this one here like three times. Two rocks. Okay, this one Britt once. You guys all picked this one. Every one of you. This is so every single person picked this one. Once. Ammo. Shotgun shells. <laughs> well, it's down to two. Yeah. Okay, Britt, you picked this one once. Okay. Um, Jeff. Jeff picked it twice, Tim picked it twice, and Jim picked it once. This one only has the three on it. The crystal. crystal. Yes, crystal. Right. And look at that. So the very wow. last box with go. the most. How many times did he get that one? Three. So three. Britt got it three times. Tim got it twice. Jeff got it twice. Jim got it twice. I got it more than you guys sell. So. One more time. Yeah, and guess what it is. And there it there is. There it is. So this one, for whatever reason, has the most hits out of all of it. And so it's three, two, two, two. That's interesting, huh? Wow. That is interesting. Wow. So out of random selection. If that's the one the dogs were next to, because I let them pick a couple times. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So anyways, that's know. it's pretty interesting, but it's certainly not 80% accurate. Yeah. It's 30%, 20%, 20%, 20%. Just randomly, uh -huh. randomly, the random selection was, you know, it was picked a total of nine times. <clears throat> So the interesting part about this is, is that um, the random selection, along with Brit's three selections, had more stickers on that box than any other, and that was the gold, which I find unusual. Um, but the agreement was, is Brit would have had to get that eight out of ten times. He got three out of ten times. So I think that it's kind of inconclusive. I do want to say one thing, um, Britt was a hell of a good sport and uh, Dave I think did a very very fair and a very objective challenge to this and um, I heard, now I left shortly after uh, we opened the last box and I heard that he stuck around and they did the entire thing again and guess how many times he got the second go round? Zero. So. I don't know, um, you know, maybe there's some other reason why he didn't get hits on that, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, and uh, it was kind of, I guess, educational for me and, and for Dave, and you know what, if there's somebody else out there that you think that you can do that, contact Dave at goldbay.com and uh, get your butt down there. Pay for the gas, go down there, and if you win, it's 60 some thousand dollars. So I don't know why anybody that douses wouldn't be going down to do that challenge. So anyway, I want to thank Roaring Camp for pitching in and um, Dave for his hospitality and stuff. And, um, you know, we, we sure appreciate you guys following us and we love doing the videos for you. So we're going to keep doing them. So anyway, I'm Shannon. We'll see you in the next video.